Today we've got a tutorial for you on the Wonder Bar gun. In this part we're going to show you how to change a gun. Say you've got a faulty gun that needs to be replaced, we'll show you how to do it. On the left we've got a black Mark 2.5. On the right we've got a red Mark 4, slightly better model, a bit newer. Um, in Australia, if you want to buy a gun, the importer is Hoshizaki Lancer. They're located in South Australia. The standard shorter gun will set you back about $850. Um, the longer gun, last time I checked, was around the $1,200 mark. Uh, there are a couple of su suppliers. Uh, Bracton, for example, located in uh, about New South Wales, near Manly. Uh, the sh supply the shorter gun in the black for around $550. Otherwise, you can import it from the States, which is what we do. Uh, you're looking around 240 bucks US for the latest model Mark IV. Uh, by the time you convert it to Australian dollars and bring it over, it's around the $350 mark, give or take, depending on currency exchange at the time. Uh, we'll put more information on that in the notes just on who to contact for spare parts and etc because you'll find it a lot cheaper just to bring it in from the states than to buy it locally. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, now I'll show you how to change over the guns. Now, assuming that this gun is still attached to your system, what you do is you will be screwed under the bar somewhere like that. Obviously unscrewed a couple of butterfly clamps holding it in place. Remove the locking pins. And separate the gun section. Take a new gun. Make sure it's firmly attached. And push in your locking pins. Now, once that's done, theoretically, that gun should be ready to go. All your syrup adjustments are located in the back section here. Since we haven't changed that over, once you turn the ball valves, the switch off valve at the back, back on, the gun should be ready to go. But we'll always check the syrup strength as well, and I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial. Now we've changed over our guns, we need to make sure the syrups are set right. First step, changing the face plates. Now, most guns are set up with six flavours, plus soda and water. This particular gun is set up with six carbonated flavours. However, sometimes you'll find guns that have a non-carbonated, such as orange juice. They will always be located on one of the bottom two gun buttons. Say for example that your last gun had orange juice, but the gun you've just purchased is set up with six carbonated flavours. What you do, simply unscrew the face plate from the top and the bottom. One thing I should mention is never remove the back plate if possible. That will just cause you all sorts of problems and is very hard to get back together, especially in the older 2.5 models, unless you know what you're doing. Now, this one, as you can see, is set up with four butterfly plates. Top one, of course, it has the six flavours. You can see six holes. Each one of those holes is a different flavour. When you press the corresponding button down, a pin goes in and pushes down that flavour, and a bar pushes down this entire plate. The plate pushes down a hidden button under there, which is your soda water. So the plate pushes down the soda water button, and your pin pushes down, say, the Coke button, and you get Coca-Cola, soda water and Coke, syrup, etc., etc., for all of them. Now, say you had orange juice in one of your lower buttons, which is one of these two, what you'd need to do is change out the butterfly plates. Now, 
do that, simply just remove the two Phillips head screws there and the plates just come off. Then you replace them with the correct plates. Now, easiest way to do this is to get them out of your previous gun. Now this gun was also set up for six carbonated flavors, so I can't really show you that, but it's really easy. These plates are universal between all models of the Wonder Bar. So simply just replace whatever stainless steel plates are in this gun for this gun. Make sure it's set up the same and you'll be absolutely fine. Only difference is with the Mark IV, underneath this you'll find a black plate. Excuse my phone. You'll see a black plate. That's holding in some O-rings, which is just a easier way of servicing on the Mark IVs compared to the Mark 2.5s and older models. So once you buff your correct plates are in, just put everything back together again. Now when you put these in, make sure you don't do them up too tight. If you do them up too tight, you're going to have problems with um, holding the buttons down. Once you push the button down, say the soda water button down, or the coke button down, you'll find that when you release the button, the product still comes out for a long time afterwards. That's because it's too tight. Also, you don't want it too loose, because then the plates will move around and get stuck, not work properly, etc, etc. Just tie them up nice and, nice and firmly so they come up and down quite easily. Face plate back on. Tighten it back up. And that, technically, should be ready to go.